Hey there, so I remember this one time, my buddy got this sleek iPhone from a garage sale. Super cheap, but guess what? It had that annoying lock to owner message, also known as the iCloud activation lock. Frustrating, right? If you've ever been in a situation like that or you're just curious, you're in the right spot. Today, I'm gonna show you multiple ways to get rid of that pesky lock, not just for iPhones, but for iPads and Apple Watches too. And the best part, it's all on the up and up, totally legal. Let's dive in. Remember, this info is for rightful device owners who've forgotten their login details. We don't support illegal activities or bypassing security on stolen items. Stay legal and respect others. Our video follows YouTube's rules. And now let's move on. So have you ever had a mate who was totally bummed because they, they got this iPhone but couldn't use it? I remember Jake, a buddy of mine, he got this iPhone off an online deal and bam, lock to owner message. The struggle was real. Now I've been doing my homework and there are a few solid tools out there. For those of you who are into this stuff, there's Unlock Here's AI powered unlocking web app. Jake tried it and boy was he impressed. Then there's iUnlock app. Pretty neat stuff and quite user friendly if you ask me. Safe Unlocks and Lock to Owner are also up there on the list. Each of them has its own unique features, but they all aim to help out folks like Jake and maybe you in a jam. Remember, this is just for educational purposes. If you're exploring options, these services are among the best for iCloud Unlock solutions. Now, if you're curious about how to get the most out of the Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant, stick around because that's up next. Just keep an open mind and let's explore together. All right, quick heads up. The Unlock services we've discussed work best in first world countries. If for any reason you can't access them or prefer not to use them, we've got you covered. Every week we offer 250 unlocks for our viewers. Here's how you can snag one for yourself. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, drop a comment below with your device model like iPhone 8, your IMEI, and your country. Once you've done those three simple steps, you're in. You'll be automatically entered for a chance at one of those unlocks. Easy, right? All right, let's dive straight into how to use unlock here. First thing you'll wanna do is open up your browser, whether you're on a phone or computer head to unlockhere.com. This site's got a super handy AI assistant called Nifty, ready to help you out. Once you're there, give Nifty a little heads up, click on activation lock to let it know you're after an iCloud unlock. Now, here's where you tell it what kind of device you've got. Most of you will select iPhone, but hey, if you're rocking an iPad or an Apple Watch, go ahead and choose that. Next up, you've got to punch in either your IMEI or serial number. Confused? Let me break it down iPhones always have IMEIs. If you're unlocking an iPhone, go with IMEI. Some iPads and Apple Watches also have IMEIs if they come with a SIM card slot or can connect to cellular. But if not, they just have a serial number. So how do you find it? Easy. Press the sleep button on your lock device. Press it again and tap that little I on the bottom right. Boom, there's your device info. Uh, moving along, you'll need to enter the IMEI or your serial number here and enter some basic details so the order can be linked to your account. Make sure it's the real deal info because you're gonna get a confirmation code sent to your email and you're gonna need that. After that, just check the box to say you've read the terms and of course, that you're not trying to unlock something that's not yours. Then solve this CAPTCHA, again, making sure you are not a robot, which I doubt. Click start process and then head to your email. If you don't see that confirmation email, don't forget to peek in your spam or junk folder. It might be hiding there. Got that confirmation code? Great. Copy that and head back to Unlock Here website. And there, pop in the code. Confirm you're not a robot. And tap validate info and start unlock. And there you go, your unlock process begins. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. 
the next method will be broken into two straightforward methods to tackle that lock issue. Contacting Apple support with the original invoice. Start by finding the original purchase invoice of your device. This proves that you're the rightful owner. Once you have that, head over to Apple's official support website or give them a call. Provide them with the details from your invoice. They'll verify it. And if everything checks out, they'll guide you through the process to remove the lock. Next is resetting the Apple ID on Apple's website. Navigate to the Apple ID website. Look for the forgot Apple ID or password option. Follow the prompts. You might need to provide some personal information to verify your identity. Once verified, you'll be guided to reset your Apple ID. After resetting, use the new details on your locked device. So these are two solid paths you can take. Give them a shot and see which one works best for you. Let's dive into another method using iCloud Unlock software. Now, iCloud Unlock software can be a handy tool to fix the lock issue, but there's a catch, you'll need a Windows computer to use it. So it's not for everyone. When searching for this software, you'll come across many options, but heads up, not all of them do the job. And always, always be cautious. Why? Because downloading stuff from the web can sometimes bring nasty surprises like malware. Honestly, if you ask me, it's way less of a hassle and much safer to use an online service. Platforms like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks are gold. No downloads needed and they get the job done, but if you're set on the software route, just be careful where you get it from. And now onto some more cool stuff you should know. If you thought it was the last, it's not. If you've got a seller who's pretty responsive and helpful, this can be a good route to take. So if you're trying to get your iPhone free from the last owner's iCloud grip, have them follow these easy peasy steps. First, they need to head to iCloud.com and log in using their own iCloud info. Next, they'll see an option that says find iPhone. Once they click on that, they can pick out the device that's got that pesky locked to owner issue. Now they just click on erase. This action gives the device a clean slate. Last but super important, they should hit remove from account. Doing this ensures that the iPhone's not tied to their account anymore. Voila, with these steps, your iPhone should be on its way to unlocking its full awesomeness. All right, so that's it for today's tutorial. We hope you got what you needed. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.